Well, well, what's going on, everyone? RC84 here, like always. Thanks for watching. Well, my friends, check out Big Blue with this new accessory kit on it. This thing looks freaking amazing. I mean, come on. This thing looks beefy. It looks badass with this <laughs> kit on here. Excuse my language, but I'm like really super excited about this kit. Now, like I said, this is a kit that HG offers for the P415, and you can also use it on the P408, which is the Humvee uh, from HG. So both of the uh, vehicles will work for this kit. So let's talk about what I added onto the vehicle. So we'll start here on the front. I added the uh, brush guard, or I think they call this the Predator brush guard. Now I'm not 100% sure if that's the right name for it, but uh, from what I've seen, I think they call it the Predator, but that thing looks nice. Uh, this is an item that I already had on the vehicle before, uh, before I got the accessory kit, so I have another one laying around now. <laughs> but that really adds a nice protection to the front hood there so you're not like right, damaging or anything if you do go into a rock or tree or whatever uh, it won't really damage it so that's good the other thing that i added on it was the winch here now this uh replaces the front bumper and puts the winch on there and this thing is really nice and it's actually a function winch it actually does work it goes in and out um, it's very cool you got your tow hooks right here on each side also, the original tow hooks that were on the vehicle as well is on there. Um, will I use the winch? I don't really know. That's one of the things that I just don't really know about because the winch line is very thin and there is no protection around that, uh, that line. So I don't know if I will use it. It is a cool item. It's a really cool thing to show off and stuff like that, but... I don't really see that winch being strong enough to pull this vehicle from a dead stop. But anyway, it is a really cool feature to have on the vehicle and it looks very nice. All right, so let's talk about the light bar. Now this is an LED light bar. It has multiple colors and multiple flash features. You can do like the police uh, strobe lights. You can do all types of you know different lights on it. Uh, it is really awesome and super bright as well. Uh, so that is one thing. The next thing is this really cool roof rack. This thing is amazing. It's so done up very, very nice. I mean, whoever does their, their metal work does a great job. Uh, there's no kind of imperfections or anything like that. It's done up really, really nice. And I definitely like it. Now, I do want to say that all the parts on here is all metal other than the LED light. That is a plastic right there, but everything else is metal. Uh, let's take a look here on the back. We'll put the box to the side because it's getting in the way. <laughs> Turn it to the back here. So we have the back. We got the rear bumper on there, which is pretty cool. Pretty highly detailed as well. Try to get some light up here for you guys. Uh, yeah. Now uh, you got an actual no slot here where you can add a rear winch if you want to do so. Will I do it? I don't know, probably not. Uh, we got our tow hooks here on the bumper. So that's really cool. Uh, like I said, all this is metal. The other thing that I added was the, uh, the ladders, the rear ladders here on the back of them. Uh, that's a nice, nice feature right there. Now uh, there, now for the rear here, there's actually supposed to be a spare tire holder on the back, like here on the image right here, as you see. And I decided to do away with it because I honestly did not really like it. I felt like it wasn't really like scale to me. It kind of like, it was a big bulky tire that's sitting off the back of it. And uh, I didn't really like it. Plus also it's just more hassle of going through to get into your battery because your battery is in the back here, all right? And uh, spare tire holders right there, so it'll actually swing open and you get to the doors. That's just more things that you have to open up to get to your batteries and stuff like that. Uh, so I size like, you know, I don't really want to do it. I think it looks perfect just the way it is. I mean, that's just my personal opinion, but uh, what do you guys think? Do you like the spare tire on the back? I really don't like it, but... Like I said, that's just my personal opinion that I don't like it, you know, but I do love this kit. 
this thing made this vehicle pop out so good and uh, everybody loves the blue on this thing uh, every time I take it out people are like wow I love the color of that rig it looks so nice I said yeah you know <laughs> but it is very cool kit to put on this vehicle and it really just made it more scale and everything I mean it's awesome <laughs> that's all I can say very 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 cool is what I can say <laughs> but I really dig it my friends I hope that y'all dig it as well uh, one of the other things that I do want to talk about that I did was the snorkeler. So this is the original uh, P408, which is the military Humvee, the one I have right over there, uh, that had the snorkeler here. Now, I really wanted to keep the snorkeler because I like to see the Hummers with actual snorkelers and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it was a pretty tall one. It go about up here. And uh, the light bar got in the way of that so i had to shorten this down i actually want to try to shorten it at least about right here or so but uh when i was cutting it i actually cut it too short and now i have a shorty one which is not bad because actually uh in the real life they have a couple of different versions of snorkelers for the hummer h ones uh they have a shorty which is like that and then they have a tall one so really i didn't go bad on that <laughs> i didn't do bad on it but I did cut it a little short, but I do have the snorkeler there, so a shorty. But, uh, you know, other than that, great. Um, I really, really, like I said, I really dig this thing. Uh, so I can't wait to get this vehicle out there on the trails and do some really cool scale trail runs with this. Use that little winch as well, uh, just to test it out, see how it's going to go. <laughs> we break it, we break it. It's going to be replaced, not a problem. But uh, so that's it, my friends. That is the accessory kit on the Hummer H1. Definitely looks awesome. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you like it with that spare tire on it? Or do you say, I think, Chris, hey, I think you did a great job at not putting the spare tire on the back. Let me know what you think. So comment down below. Also like this video and also uh, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. That way you'll know when I upload a video of this beast out there on the trails. So yeah. All right, my friends. So I think, uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm getting tongue tied. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you again for watching and I will see y'all soon, hopefully on the trails with this beast. See y'all later.